I was in a Discord call with my friend Promise Lock while we was watching this Project L trailer. Here's our reaction and thoughts afterwards. Right. I'm Tom, executive producer at Project L. And I'm Tony. Project All right, L's shout out to Tom game. and Tony. Last yes, time we talked, I let you in on the secret that we're building a fighting game here at Riot. We showed you a brief glimpse of gameplay and said we'd be going dark for a while, but we'd share more when we're ready. Well, a lot's changed since then. We've made some great progress, and while the game is still too far out to commit to a release date, it's been a bit since. Oh, okay, we ain't getting no so release date. I, 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 I got uh, you, bro. Y'all just let y'all, y'all just let us know y'all alive, huh? Make a two D fighter <laughs> set in the universe of Runeterra, but the two D fighting space is pretty broad. Oh, there goes the Even waifu people. Point, they gonna love that character right there. We could take the game. Thanks. After lots of exploration, we're excited to say that we've landed on a direction that we're pretty pumped about. In this quick update, we'll walk you through our high-level approach when it comes to core gameplay, character design, and netcode. But first, allow me to reintroduce Project L. All right. Okay. Okay, okay. Hey, that's what I wanted in the game. Like all right, all right, all right. Ooh. The game, the game looking, it's got its art style. Yeah. Oh, assist system? Oh, yep. Ah, uh, you know everybody gonna use the same assist after like two weeks, so that don't matter. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> oh wait, she was able to. He was able to assist and then go Project back into it. Will be an assist-based fighter. You'll build and pilot a team of two different champs. We feel like this is the okay. right foundation to build a game that rewards strategic team building and on-the-fly decision making on top of strong fighting fundamentals. <laughs> Our goal is to build nice. a game that delivers a fast-paced, dynamic combat fantasy while leaving plenty of room for you to be creative and express yourself in gameplay. Like a lot of you out there, we're inspired by the insane outplays. Hard okay, I like the way the game looks so far. No, it, looks, it looks like they got a budget. The dream for us is to deliver a game that allows oh, that you character's annoying, bro. <laughs> 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 now let's talk about controls. I know that a lot of you have strong opinions about mechanical difficulty in fighting games. For Project L, we're embracing the easy to learn, hard to master mentality. I so yes, see. okay, we are making it easier to jump in with a new character and learn their basic kit. That okay. said, we absolutely believe in rewarding the time you spend going deep on a character providing opportunities okay. to showcase your high-end mastery. Thank you. One of the delights of fighting games nice. is seeing top players move and fight in a way that's inspiring and distinct from lesser skilled oh, players. Oh, that combo is <laughs> nice! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot! This isn't about building a game where new players have a chance to be the pros. It's about unlocking the fun at all skill levels. Oh, okay. They, all right, they got brain cells players, when they was making this game. Levels. Okay. Yeah. For characters, our goal is to deliver on the iconic moves that League champions are known for, but adapted to work in a fighting game. We want Man, our champs to have this, powerful, flexible yeah. units that give you the freedom to play your character your way. Yeah, I always wanted him in a fighting game. I ain't gonna lie. To it's Echo, nice to see that. Re envisioned for Project L. Echo is a punk genius. He's a brilliant inventor who, through time manipulation, can rewind his own Dang. mistakes. Oh, oh, snap. Yeah. Oh, so he could probably teleport to back to where he was at. Right. You know, I didn't play League because um, it's not for me. A pretty good poke and a right. combo under. Oh. When Echo slashes with Chrono Strike, he generates an after image that he can rewind back to any time yep. in the next few seconds of the match. That's nice. You can use the rewind. He, he reminds me of that Overwatch slash. girl that used to be able to rewind. Difference. And branch into oh, the middle launcher. Yeah, that the, the oh, main character of a watch. Oh, oh you saw that you saw oh, how yo, you saw this cover for a second. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, okay, he didn't use that. Oh right in the jacket. Oh I I I uh we might have found a main, yo. That's that's swaggy. That's swaggy, bro. I don't down, know. At, we don't know about DNF Duel, but at least we know this game got something. We know this game. We know this game coming out at least. It slows Echo opponents for the next few seconds. Dang, I ain't gonna lie, I got a host for it now. Both these moves, our approach is to give you a tool with a clear primary role, with lots of potential for extra utility when you use it. To okay. Yo. Okay. Now, you got projectiles too. Obviously, super important. High quality net code is essential for any great fighting game. So this is an area where we're investing big. I'm going to turn it over to Tony, and he'll walk you through some of our networking foundations. Are they twins? Netcode has been a top-of-mind like topic in the FGC for the past year, especially since we haven't been able to gather for live events. For Project L, we've designed our entire networking stack to deliver the same highly responsive gameplay that you'd get playing offline. Of course, this starts by using rollback networking at the core. 
Rollback does a great job of maintaining a consistent low input delay. Yeah, basically, if you ain't got rollback, your game irrelevant in 2021. So, <laughs> yeah, so they know better. They know better. More technology know. developed by other. But I heard League always had good servers, so they always. Players through Riot Direct, our internal network already being. Yeah, they honestly do. See in League of Legends and Valorant. We're also actively managing a player's connection to their opponent to ensure a consistent, fair play experience. If their connection is laggy or drops packets, their experience will suffer, but yours won't. In the oh, same way, in the middle of the match, nice. our netcode okay. will determine who should win and who should be penalized. Oh, okay. wow. I like that. Wow, they're actually ahead of <laughs> most fighting games by doing that. Game internally. Heck yeah. We're working every day to make sure it's in top shape for the eventual release. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed the sneak peek at Project L. Before we go, I want to remind you that our game is still in R&D. We're happy with how core combat is shaping up, but there's still a ton of work to do. Thanks so much for your patience. We'll hey, yo, this game. Make sure that we get this. This right. game looks nice. So that's all it for does. now. It actually Last looks nice. Day, Project all went dark afterwards, but this time we'll do our best to keep in touch when we have major news to share. Thanks a lot. And one thing that stuck out to me is that he used the assist right there and then swapped out and played with her. That was always going to be pretty interesting, man. The backgrounds look amazing and the models in the background look amazing if you look at kof 15's models in the background bro they look like they come from nintendo 64. <laughs> <laughs> i love i love the fact that they got their own artwork going for them i love the fact that like everything about it in the background with the characters as well is just beautiful it, like it doesn't even seem like static and i like how you know when the character is moving and stuff stuff in the background kind of moving with you at right. the same time and what I really liked about this trailer is that they said they we're here to move on with mastery. So if you get good, we're not gonna throttle you to where some newbie could do the same thing you do and embody you. So I'm gonna see if they stick to their word on that. Oh yeah, most definitely. Why are you so excited about Echo? Why? You you done brought you done brought up in the reaction you say you were excited about Echo. Why are you so excited oh, yeah. about Echo, bro? Alright, so the reason why I'm excited about Echo is because I remember when I was playing League of Legends. So basically the the teleport system that you see in there where you have the after image, you know, that would be considered like the chrono break. You know, you would teleport from one place to the other. I always envisioned that that would be something that you would use for combos, and I'm glad that they have it like that because I was kind of afraid that you know because it's an ultimate in league of legends that they would be like nah we'll just use it as some type of special super or something like that i'm just glad that they didn't do it like that and they actually imagined it the way that i was imagining it to be so just seeing all of the potential combos that you could do with it it's just nice that is the longest answer for i'm glad he's in because he's black <laughs> yeah <you're> <laughs> but, but yeah, I think I think Echo is cool, bro. Uh, when I saw him teleporting back to where he was, it reminded me of that Overwatch girl, like I said in the reaction video, uh, Tracer. Right. So I'm excited to see how that's gonna turn out. He he might be uh, OD. I'm worried about the Fox girl. The fact that she can keep me juggling for three hours in the air. That's something to concern myself with. But yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to Echo. Echo seems like one of the cool characters on there. So the only thing I'm waiting to see is like, like you don't see that you don't see the characters' expressions change while they fight, right. which is something I would like them to work on, and I would also like them to work on um, like uh, voice lines. But I'm sure that's coming with time. That's what I mean. Like they got a lot of they when they say they still got a lot of work to do. Definitely. But, and this is Riot's first attempt at a fighting game. They're doing a really good job because you know a lot of us we felt a little bit sad when we saw Nickelodeon. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> Yo, all, all I gotta say is. Thank you for putting Echo into this game. <laughs> <laughs>